Well, hello, beautiful. Welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Candy, and today I am doing a highly requested video. This is going to be a pack with me. So I am headed to Florida for a seven-day vacation. I'm so excited. And I am literally going to take you guys through the process with me of how I pack all my clothes, how I pick out my wardrobe for um, a summer vacation. I'm going to show you shoes, bags, clothes. We'll do a little try on sesh because I love to try on everything I'm taking with me on vacation. That way I know it works. There's no surprises and I kind of work out everything. So that way I don't have the need to overpack. So if you're like me and you love knowing what's new and what's next, fashion, beauty, and travel, then click that subscribe button, become a part of my crew. I would love to have you. Everything that I mentioned in this video that I can find links for, I will link down in the description box so you can shop from there. Also, if you have any questions as you're watching this video, don't forget to drop them in the comments. I do check the comments and any questions that I see, I always answer them. So with that being said, let's get into the packing. First things first, the most important part of travel are your bags, in my opinion. I think that luggage is so key and so many people don't invest in like quality luggage and you always regret it. Trust me, I have done it myself. I've gone on a trip, I bought the really cute bag, you know, the lavender set that was super cute and A, the wheels were crap, the handle didn't glide up and down um, and honestly, it broke after just a couple of trips. So with that being said, I recently upgraded my luggage. So let me introduce you to my new babies. So we have taken a trip already to Florida with these and I figured I would get both so you guys could really like understand the details of the bags. So I picked up this set and specifically because I have used Samsonite for so many years. Like I had a throwback set of Samsonite luggage. It's so funny. It's really funny story. Um, this guy that I was dating. <laughs> it's so funny how things change as you get older. So I actually was dating this guy years ago. And I traveled a lot. So he thought it would be a really nice Christmas gift to get me a luggage set. And it was like a plain black Samsonite luggage set. And I was so upset because I was like, I'm like a girly girl. Like you could at least got me pink if you were going to give me luggage. Funny enough, though, in the beginning, I thought it was a horrible gift. Um, it actually ended up being one of my favorite luggage sets. This set from Samsonite is very lightweight. I want to say the large bag is nine pounds on its own. And for a hard case suitcase, that's actually not bad. Traveling, it's more important how heavy this bag is. I always, when I'm purchasing luggage, grab the carry-on. And the large one because if I'm going to pay to check a bag I might as well get the most room for my buck so these are nice because both the large and the small both expand this one also has TSA locks so good I mean look how easily it's gliding on the carpet and then this handle super smooth like it doesn't get stuck you know none of those problems just really easy I love that handle on top and also a handle on bottom and they both have like that expanded handle I know I hope that you guys find this helpful because these are the things that I've learned to look for in luggage that are so important so having that little give helps you to not pop your straps as quickly and having two handles versus one makes it so much easier to get it on and off the belt so I love the fact that Samsonite kept this one very simple like there's not a lot of pockets you'll see the piece that actually holds the handle sometimes they can be very intrusive and you can't really pack or you have to almost pack around them these are actually really flat they in the inside except you have your little straps that help to keep everything in place on one side it has a large pocket with the zipper here you have a storage pocket here and then you have your two zippers that go all the way around I love it when they give you two zippers just in case one pops you can always still like use it it's functional and then here the inside is completely hollow on this side it's a bit of an investment but it also comes with a 10-year warranty so if anything happens to these suitcases in the next 10 years you can take it to Samsonite and they will send it off I think you only pay for the shipping and they will repair it and send it back to you okay so next up let's talk carry-on bag our favorite bag 
is the Weekender from Vera Bradley. I love this bag so much. Um, this is this one is for Kira. She loves like a simple black bag. I opted for something a little bit more fun. So the reason I love this bag so much is a it holds everything, but also it's made of performance tool. So it will not, it's like water resistant, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about like, even though it's a cotton bag, things getting inside and like, you know, getting all messed up. There's so many compartments on this bag. It's amazing. So you get the nice thick straps, which are great. They do go under the um, arm, but mostly I hold this in the hand like a tote. Attach it onto your carry-on. That is the number one feature for any like carry-on bag for me is that I can literally pop it on top of my luggage and now I'm walking through the airport I got my Starbucks in my hand I don't have to worry about like where am I putting things speaking of this bag has two little pockets one on each side let me back up so you guys can see it there's two little pockets one on each side of the handle one can like pop in your like cell phone maybe you have a water bottle that you want to put here there's also a third pocket on the side here but in the front you have two main zippers one here is a little bit more of a narrow um, zip pouch it also has like a little holder I guess you could use it for a cell phone or I have my business cards in there that way if I meet anybody on the go it's really easily accessible I love this pocket for like passports things like that you don't want to keep it necessarily in your purse but maybe you want to put it there if you don't travel with a purse which I don't typically travel with a purse when I'm flying because again it's just another unnecessary thing and I like to maximize that personal item by using this this pouch this little zipper pouch is really nice and hold my laptop so I can put my Mac Pro right in there and it's easily accessible at the same time it's still protected under that quilt cool tape and then the inside I love to store luggage inside of luggage <laughs> So this is my, this is actually my Vera Bradley backpack. I recently picked this one up. This is from their um, sustainable cotton line, which is really nice. I love the little pattern. They're so fun. This is a great backpack if you like to travel and you're just looking for something that is a little bit nondescript. There are a lot of really beautiful, like fun summer colors. It has the pouches on either side. I did not mean to talk about this, but what I love most about this particular backpack is it also has the luggage strap as well and then it has nice cushion straps so like when i'm shooting content and we need to carry all the equipment with us but i don't want to have something that is too much of a call out while we're traveling but at the same time something that's really comfortable this is a really nice option but uh anyway so getting back to this bag so in the weekender one of my favorite parts is first of all look how big this bag is like it holds so much but there's also little net pockets along the sides um, and i don't know about you but i always pack my makeup bag in my carry-on <laughs> Because if you're going to lose anything, it will not be my makeup. So with that being said, um, this bag always ends up being a little bit heavier, which is why it's so important that I can put it on top of the luggage and then I don't have to really worry about like how heavy the bag is. This is to hold dirty clothes, underwear, whatever. I just feel like once you like use them, it's always like, well, where do I put it? If you carry like a little laundry bag, and you can pick these up from anywhere. This one is from The Laundress. I love these bags. They actually are really durable. Um, and they're not that expensive, but uh, it, that's a great way. And then once you get home, you can literally just take the bag, pop it in the wash. Two things that go with me no matter what trip I'm going on. One is a robe. I love lounging in a robe. And typically, being a plus size woman, when I get to the hotel, the robe that's there never fits, so I always bring my own. I recently picked this one up, and when I tell you I love it so much, I don't want to take it off. Like, I literally had it on earlier today, and I was like, I don't even want to get dressed. Like, it just makes you feel like you're in a spa moment, okay? All the way down to about mid-calf, and your girl is 5'2". This is such a great buy, so if you do not have a robe, I highly suggest picking this one up. Okay, so starting with my makeup, typically what I will do is I will save my makeup to last because I'll get dressed that morning and kind of like pack as I go. But for this purpose of the video, I want to show you guys how this amazing little cosmetic bag that I picked up from Amazon works. So this is a hard case. 
so it protects everything inside it also has like a little hanging thing I always take like a large powder brush I'll take a medium-sized blush brush I will take my eye brushes which I typically only need to take two again I have many more brushes right but what do I really 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 need to do an eye look and sometimes if I'm feeling spicy I will take a third brush maybe something I can use like with darker colors to like do like a little you know crease action brows which is so important cannot not have my brow brushes and my foundation brush so where's that foundation brush so this is my face and brushes I love this pouch because it has like a little strap and then a pocket pop those in uh, for makeup my soft glam palette is my go-to for travel this palette has every color you would need pretty much to create any neutral eye look and when you're on vacation obviously having fun is always nice but if we're trying to minimize the amount of things that I'm gonna take then I'm grabbing this palette because I can create so many looks two things we're flying so technically TSA could ask me to open up my bag and require that all of these be in a zippy okay so I definitely recommend making sure that you can put them in a zip if you're asked to do so this is gonna be in my carry-on and it's really super simple if they ask me to do it to just take this out um, so I'm still going to put them in the ziplock but put them inside of my makeup pouch and if I have to open my makeup pou pouch for whatever reason I can just pull this out and it's there so as far as lip products I like to keep it pretty simple I take a nude lip with me i always take a retro matte lipstick and a gloss that i can pop on on top or i can wear them alone and then i'll do a red which this is like my signature red um i'll do this one as well and i will do a pinky gloss i always take a brown and a red lip liner again you can wear them alone you could always layer them under your lipsticks to make sure they last longer but essentially this is my face in one pouch um the only thing that's not in this bag are my beauty powders so because they just are too bulky to go in the other one so i'll just pop those in here now in my little pouch this will be like all of my necessities for like getting dressed as far as my toothbrush will go in there i use the sonicare and i love the fact that this one comes with its own little travel case so typically kira has hers i have mine you could always just travel with one candle and then put your two toothbrush heads in there and we mark them on the back so that way we know whose toothbrush is whose. But I just prefer for us to have our separate ones. I always throw my tongue scraper in there as well. This will last for more than a week without being charged so I don't have to worry about taking a charger with me um, which is really nice deodorant obviously i have been using the aluminum free i switched over while we we're on quarantine i'm really happy with the dove i think it works really well girl let's talk we're going to florida so thigh rescue is a absolute must um you're going to be wearing shorts dresses anything like that and you just want to be comfortable you don't want to have like any chafing Grab yourself some Mega Babe Thigh Rescue. I know there's a bunch of different ones. I prefer this one and it's available at Target. I also, from a Mega Babe, use their under boob powder. But the really nice part about this powder is like, have you ever tried to like get powder under your boob? It's a process, okay? This has a nice little pump and you literally just squeeze it and the powder squirts out and it goes exactly where you want it to go. Toothpaste. I always take these this is from lush and these are their toothpaste tablets it is the easiest way to travel with toothpaste it's little like chew tablets you just pop them in your mouth little water and you can brush your teeth I actually prefer the way they feel and again it's so easy to travel with you get them in a big container but lush will give you samples um, and then you can just refill your sample container with fresh tooth toothpaste tabs when you're getting ready to travel super easy pop those in take enough obviously for your trip always take a eye mask with me like a sleep mask just in case um, on the plane I knock out like I'm one of those people that as soon as I get on the plane I'm asleep um, and then also we're going to be staying in an Airbnb with family and just in case they have the lights on or whatever I can always sleep very comfortably so I'm gonna pop that in my bag as well 
Next comes my hair tools. So for the purposes of minimizing the things that I take with me, I always pack my um, hot comb. This is great if I need to straighten my hair, like let's say I wanna wear it straight, I can also straighten my hair with a hot comb, but also I can use it to flatten my part, make it look you know, nice. So I always carry this one. This one's from Andy's, it's electric, which is really nice. Now, normally, Kiera likes to use a curling wand and we have the convertible T3 curling iron, so um, you can use different wands on it. I prefer old school clip curler, that's my thing. So that is what I'm going to be packing. I'm gonna pop both of these. Actually, pop both of those into my sleeve. Now, for the pajamas, um, you guys may not have seen Print Fresh actually. I think I've only introduced it on Instagram. Print Fresh is this amazing company. They make these beautiful pajamas. And they used to send these with every pair of pajamas, um, but because they try to be very like sustainable and eco-friendly, they've opted to replace, instead of sending this, I think they sent something else. But it's really nice because it has um, the size printed and then that way you know if you have a bunch of different print fresh um, items you know which ones in which bag um, so anyways I'm gonna go grab my pajamas so I'll pop a picture in so that you guys can see but these are the pajamas um, I actually have a new pair coming very soon hopefully this week um, so that might actually go with me on the trip these are as you can see in the picture these are long sleeve uh, pants. I think I ordered this time a pair of shorts and also a robe. Okay, wish me luck. I'm switching over to my vlog camera because I figured that would be easier to take you guys into the closet using the vlog camera versus trying to get the big camera in here. So with that being said, welcome to my closet. For this trip, it is going to be mostly leisure. Fine. We're going to be going to the theme park. We're going to be spending a lot of time in the pool. Um, I'm going to do a couple of dinners with some friends in Fort Lauderdale. And the rest of the time, we're just going to be relaxing. It's very hot. I think it's like in the upper 90s right now. So it's definitely hot. I want things that are breathable, things that will travel well. And at the same time, maybe things that I'll be able to wear more than once. I forgot. One thing that always travels with me, probably more than my robe, second to my robe, is my travel steamer. I love this baby. Kiara loves this one. Actually, she prefers to use a travel steamer over using the regular one. And I always travel with it. We don't even know where the iron is in our house. It was so funny. We had a guest come and they were like, can I borrow the iron? I'm like, girl, I don't even know where the iron is in this house because we steam everything. There we go. So now you guys can do I'm probably going to be doing a lot of activities where I'm dressed during the day and then going out for dinner at night. So I'm going to need to change. So, um, with that being said, I basically just pulled out a bunch of pieces that could work. Um, things that I know will mix and match well. Things that I know will be like leisurely, but at the same time can be dressed up. We'll do a little try on. I'll show you guys how I plan to maximize my wardrobe by only bringing, I think I counted it out like 17 pieces. So... I think for this look, this is what I'm going to wear to the actual theme park shirt. I love it. And I actually have it in two patterns. I'm bringing both with me because it's so easy. So this one has like, um, you can wear this off the shoulders, which is really cute, right? Like if you want to open it up, wear it off the shoulders for more of an evening look, or you can put it up and wear it on the shoulders. It has this really cool tie function. So there you go. So you can see it. It's got like the two little pieces here covers up the bra which is nice and then you can tie it wherever you want you can do it I kind of like to do it off to the side and the color is amazing so I think this is a really cute outfit for the theme park I think I'm going to opt for my commerce so next up I think this is really cute switching it out for switching out my top for a white bodysuit I love this bodysuit it's off the shoulders it is so comfortable and it's a nice alternative to like a white t-shirt i think it's a little bit more sophisticated so i am popping on my coach 
belt, which I love this belt. I actually picked it up at the outlet. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. Like literally less than 50, I want to say it was like less than 50 bucks on the coach outlet and it's such a nice classic belt. It doesn't hurt that it's a C. But look at that, how nice that looks with um, this. And then I just popped on my Tory Burch sandals. So this is a really cute, again, daytime casual look. I love the fact that I can dress this up a little bit with the accessories, my bag, and a pair of sunglasses. And this is like a really cute daytime look. Okay, so next I popped on a pair of printed shorts. These are really nice. They're very lightweight material. Um, they have pockets. It's a tab closure. So they just fit really nicely. It has um, a little stretchy band in the back, which is really good so you get no gapping. Um, and again, it pairs really nicely with this white bodysuit, changing up my look, maximizing my pieces. Um, I decided to again grab my espadrilles for a more. I think this would be like really appropriate if we were going to go out shopping, maybe we're going to do brunch. I think this is really fun with some big gold hoop earrings. Ta-da! Look number, what is this? Look number five, I think. So this is a coordinating set. I have on the same shorts, but I popped on the top, matching printed top. Now, this top is the same as the purple one that I showed you. So it has that crisscross detail in the back. I love the little palpable detail. Again, just a really easy vacation look. So I think this is even better for a more casual, relaxed look. But if I wanted to do something a little bit more dressed up, I'll just pop on my gold sandals, again, some hoops, and call it a day. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, you already know my love obsession with this bodysuit. I have it in white, tan, red, and any other color that it comes out in will be added to my collection because it's just such a chic bodysuit. It looks great on everyone, and the one shoulder just makes it have like that little extra flair. I love it so much. This red color in particular is absolutely beautiful in person. So I think it's a really nice option to wear with a pair of jeans. I could throw on a belt and that makes it more like casual. But I also wanted to show you how you could change it up by adding a kimono. So this particular kimono is great because it's so colorful and this looks amazing with the red bodysuit pair of jeans. It's just a really good look. So instead of these espadrilles, I've actually changed these out for my nude sandals. These are amazing. I just got them in from Lene Palio. And if you guys have not checked out Lene Palio, then that means you're not following me on Instagram because we just did a Mother's Day giveaway and we gave away a pair of shoes of your choice to a special mom. So that was really fun. I love working with brands that I already love and own. So that was really nice. So this is a really cute way to take and dress up a pair of jeans for your vacation. Like I could definitely see myself wearing this to dinner. If I wanted to, I could wear it, you know, poolside. It's a really cute way to kind of take a vacation look and elevate a little bit. So if you're like me and you're always cold, I always normally have a jacket with me, but because we're going to Florida, I know I don't need a jacket, but a button down shirt is a great way to change up the look and also add a light layer if it gets a little cool. So um, this particular one I love because it is like a linen material. It's kind of like a soft white. It's not a pure white, but I like the fact that it has like a little texture to it. Um, this one is really nice. As you can see, you can wear it down it has like a slight little like bubble hem but then it's very fitted around the wrist which is nice i think especially for vacation it's really nice to cuff it a little bit and tie a knot in the front this is a great look i think knotted makes it a little bit more relaxed but if you want it you could obviously leave it out i would definitely if you're going to leave it out put on um grab a belt to add a little bit of an accessory to the waist but um, yeah, this is a great option to take because there's so many ways that you could wear this. Okay, I think we're at what, look number six, I wanna say, it might be six or seven. But um, the next options are going to be a choice that I need you guys to help me make. So typically when I go on vacation, I like to bring some sort of loungewear. For those days when you're just bopping around the house, but you don't wanna be in like 
um, full on clothes, but at the same time, you don't want to be in pajamas. So this is option one. This is a jumpsuit. I love it. It's wide leg. The color is absolutely beautiful. It's this gorgeous kind of like camel color. There's a removable belt and these beautiful kind of like tiger stripe buttons down the front. You could obviously bow that or leave it loose. I always like to leave it loose because I'm not the best at tying bows. So I wanted to show you guys how this actually goes on because when I first put it on, I was so confused. I was like, what did I order? So basically it has holes. It's got like the bungee kind of top and then you have holes on the side for your arms to go into. You can wear this loose like this and it just becomes like a very loose kind of gaucho look, but it also comes with a remo removable tie belt that you can belt. And when you belt it, to me, it just transforms it into a whole new look. I love this like this. Um, this one does not have pockets, just an FYI, but super comfortable. I love that it looks more like an elevated kind of like gaucho look to it. And now that I have it on, I think this might be a perfect airport outfit. I think it's comfortable because sometimes with airports, you just don't want like anything that's like too constricting. You're already in like these super small seats. Like you just want to be comfortable. I was gonna bring a moto jacket, but if I'm going to wear this, I'm thinking this might be a good airport look. What do you think? I like this and I'll wear it with my Converse. That way I don't have to pack them because they're going to take up the most room anyways in my suitcase. So I could do my commerce with this. I think this is cute for the airport. To elevate it, you could always change out the belt for a thicker belt. I love that. I love it with the thicker belt as well. So this just, again, now we transform this outfit once again. This would be really cute. Popping out to dinner, going shopping, going, you know, bop around the city. This is a great option. It's very comfortable popping on a thicker belt with a little bit of gold detail just elevates the look and again i think things like this that are just black loose like it just screams vacation chic <laughs> let me know down in the comments which one do you prefer do you like the tan or do you think the black was a necessity all right so for dress number one, you may actually recognize this dress. It is the same dress, just a different pattern as the first dress I showed you in my Eloquy haul. So this is the Coastal Lines pattern. Um, I did size down this time. So this is a size 14, 16. The last time I showed it to you was an 18, 20. It's a lot less volume. It's a lot less material. And I actually really like it better in the 14, 16. So I love this. I think this dress is one of those that can be worn day or evening. So this is a really great option for vacation. And it just really looks good on everyone. So if you've been a subscriber to this channel for any amount of time, you already know yellow is my power color. So when I saw this dress pop up on the website, I was like, yes, I need it. And it sold out. <laughs> I was like so devastated. I was like, oh no, it won't come back for like, I'm assuming a few months, right? Well, it literally a week later came back on the website and I was like, yes, please put it in the cart. Let's go. So this is a very lightweight linen dress. There are buttons down the front. I want to say these are all functioning they are they're all functioning so that makes this one of those pieces that your girl can wear in multiple ways so i could definitely wear this obviously as a sundress look at that i love it i love like how you can open up the buttons and get like a little bit more leg great especially for us petite girls like that is such a nice option so this looks really good just by itself so how does that look let's see this is a look that I've been getting more into is having fun and putting like jeans under dresses I think especially living now in the Midwest where the weather is like all over the place this is nice to know that you can do this so I think that's kind of cute I like it I like the fact that this gives me an option to add a layer if it gets like a chilly night and I still want to wear this pop of color that I could pair a pair of, I could put a pair of jeans underneath it and it's still a good look your girl is not a huge fan of crew necks I have to be honest so that's my first deterrent from this dress I think it's really well made I love the material on the model they tied this and made it into a knot hold on show you what that looks like because it was kind of fun 
this might be like a really nice option if I was going like I don't know like out with my girlfriends maybe something that I wanted to be like a little bit more sexy so they had it like this on the model and that's a really cute way to like change up the silhouette I think that's fun as well um, so I think this is cute I don't know if it's a necessity for this particular trip, but I think it's a nice option to have. If I was to rock it for this trip, I'd probably put it on with my Converse for a more casual look. Um, and if I was doing this kind of sexy moment, maybe a pair of heels, but I would definitely want to bring like a pair of black, maybe like my snakeskin shoes or something like that. Something a little bit more dressy. I'm not sure. Do I take it? Do I leave it? Let me know down in the comments. This is a very interactive video, guys. Before I forget, I wanted to mention I sized down in that t-shirt dress, so I got a 1416. I probably would have liked it better had I gone to an 1820, just because it would have been a little bit looser around the midsection and on the hip. So the last dress that I'm definitely taking, I always take a little black dress on vacation because you never know. You never know if you're going to be invited to dinner, and you also never know if the restaurant is going to have a dress code. So I always love to pack a little black dress with me because you can wear it in so many ways. It can be dressed up or dressed down. So this particular dress I love. I got it from Nordstrom's. Um, this one would look great with my sandals for a more relaxed look. I could definitely do this. Um, this one has a little slit on the side. It also has this amazing cutout in the back, which you guys won't see because I have on my shaper brief, but I normally wouldn't wear that with this dress. I don't even need it, but it has this like amazing cutout in the back as well. So this is one of those pieces that's like sexy, but at the same time could totally be dressed more casual with a pair of sandals. So now something that looks really dressy could look definitely a little bit more casual by adding the button down on top. It looks really good. I love this dress okay like it sold it sold out by the way but the designer of this dress releases new collections all the time and they always kind of have a little black dress in the collection so don't worry I will link it down below but it won't be this exact dress I don't believe but I'll try to find something very similar so overall that's it that's my vacation capsule I narrowed it down to three pair of pajamas so that way I have a pair for like every other day is my thought. And with the swimsuits, I decided I'm taking three swimsuits. I'm also packing a pair of flip flops, which are perfect for the pool. These are from Vera Bradley. They are amazing. And I know people are like, Candace, it's a pair of flip flops, like really? But no, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you put on a pair of flip flops and like literally you sink to the bottom of the floor, these have a nice thick platform. The piece in between the toe is so comfortable. Um, I actually got a pair in here, I got a pair, and they're like some of the best flip flops that I've ever owned. I always pack one of these little like packable totes with me for vacation and the reason why is because one time I went to the airport and I was like given a hard time about, I don't know if it was the weight or the size or whatever, and one of these like literally saved my trip. I was able to take things out of it was check bag yeah I was over the limit so I was able to take one of these and um repack some things look at that we were able to get all of those clothes so that was more than what how many outfits did we count um I think I was at seven before I started with the dresses 10 so maybe 12 outfits for a seven day trip and I was able to get everything into my little carry-on and look there's even room look at that i probably don't even have to expand it um really let's see we won't let's see if we can i like to expand it and then re-zip it anyways just because it's like a little bit more like, secure but look at that so now this bag is packed ready to go i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop a comment down below let me know what was your favorite look from this vacation haul and if you haven't already click that subscribe button become a part of my crew i would love to have you are you following me on instagram i do daily vlogs i share all kinds of dupes and 
last minute like trendy sales items that will sell out way before I can ever get them to a YouTube video. So don't miss out. Head over and follow me right now on Instagram. It's Candy's Land on all platforms. And most importantly, go live life out loud and then come back and tell your girl all about it. I love you guys. Be blessed.